2021, so I promised a couple of you a in-depth demo of the, or the, gold pen. If you've taken any of my classes, you know that I use this pen in almost every class. It is something one of my students, Lisa, from California discovered. And it is the most soothing, satisfying gold pen I have personally found. It's waterproof, it's shiny. I mean, this even says it's UV resistant. So this is what it looks like. I got this on Amazon, I will link you. It doesn't really have a brand. So the brand on here says Art Liquid Gold Chrome Markers. The brand on the listing is a little different than the brand on the actual pen. So it also has instructions here on the side. Shake several times with cap on. First time use, press the tip tightly, slightly, to release the pressure. Press the tip up and down for a while until the tip fills with ink. You can test the flow of the ink on a separate paper test area. And then when you're done, recap, and I get this question a lot, store horizontally. It's a little hard to see, but this box is even shiny itself. So that is the gold pen. There are two in here. I will say they last me a couple of months. I have gone through quite a few at this point, but that's because I'm also teaching a lot of class each week. So you can definitely get two of these for under $15, at least in the US, and it will last you quite some time. All right, let's open it up. So I'm gonna open it up here at the end. I wanted to film this right away. So y'all, my manicure is not done, but we keep it real here, right? I'm sure your nails aren't perfect. Well, if they are, kudos to you, but mine are never perfect when I'm creating. Uh, and I've been painting quite a bit. I've also been writing a lot this week. So that's been pretty healing for me. Let me know if any of y'all are actually writers as well. So I'm just gonna open one here. So you can see there is a brand, A-I-Y-E, -A on the side here. Chrome marker, it's double-ended. So we've got the smaller one here and then the larger one here. I will show you this one, but myself and my students don't prefer the larger side of it. We love this one because they're totally different. I'll show you why. So before I go too much into the actual pen itself, I wanna show you my favorite, or at least one of my favorite ways to use it. So I love Daniel Smith Indigo, the color. This is two watercolor. You can get it in a pan watercolor as well. You can also buy, honestly, any brand of Indigo. But this Indigo is so rich. It is so intense. It is so dark and lovely that when the gold goes on it, it's wonderful. So I'm just gonna paint. Should we do circles? And this is Strathmore mixed media paper, so it is not watercolor paper. It's just smooth mixed media paper. I prefer that, especially if I am using any kind of mark making. So you can see this is a nice dark rich blue from Daniel Smith, this indigo. So I love using indigo with my gold pen. Any kind of maroon, dark purples, greens. I mean, gold goes with anything, but those are my personal favorites. If you have any, definitely let me know in the comments. So there are a couple of circles. So I'm gonna let these dry, and while they dry, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the gold pen. So again, two sides to the gold pen. Let's do this side first. So this is the larger side. So you can see it has a slanted edge here. But then you can also take this out. So there's really three options for this pen and I'm gonna show you. Then you have a rounded side, like a, it's like a normal round pen. So a couple of options there. So you can flip flop between those two. I personally haven't even really used the slanted edge one. So I can't say that I don't like it, but I know that I don't like this. And I think it all comes down to you can see this material. So it's pretty porous and textured, of course, because the paint needs to flow through it. Uh, but there's just something about writing with it feels rough. It doesn't feel like the paint comes out like it should. So I honestly just act like this is a one-sided pen for me personally. You may feel differently, uh, so give it a try for sure. But the other side, so you can see how different, I should show you how different they look side by side. So you can see how different, I mean, even the color, white, this cream color and it's because this is actually like some kind of plastic it's hard as a rock so it's not exactly porous but it has these like little lines that are cut out 
for the paint. Sorry, I'm off focus a little bit. Uh, it has these little lines to cut that are cut out of the tip here where the paint flows through. And when I show you how to use this, I'll talk about using the side of the gold pen. And that's because once you get it and you do look really up close, you'll see these little gaps come up through the side of the pen. And I think that's what makes it so soothing is this angle fits so nicely like a glove up against the paper. You've got the flow of the paint coming through so you don't need to struggle typically unless it's running low to get paint out unless it's blocked or something. And it flows so nicely. The way it absorbs on the paper is mesmerizing and you can really, if you really tune into that and pay attention and notice, that can help get you into a flow state, which we talk a lot about in my Peaceful Painting Club classes. And finally, it just looks really awesome and shiny and lovely. So you can do so much with this pen. Uh, so I'm gonna do it on top of watercolor. So this one looks like it's still drying a bit. So let's work on either one of these first. So like the instruction said, let's shake it up a little bit. And then for any kind of paint pen you want to use, you wanna press down. That was my new butcher tray. I think that's what they're calling it, I don't know. Whatever it is, I love it, and I can't wait to try it. It's a palette, so I'm stopping using palette paper. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna press down. And maybe I'll hold it for a couple minutes, seconds. And I'm just keeping an eye on to see if I can see if the gold paint is coming down at all, but it's not yet. So keep doing that. Oh, there's the first glimmer of it. It's hard to see on camera. So it's coming down. I'm gonna keep doing that. Ah, you see that? How easy and effortless. You don't even need to put any, hardly any pressure if you don't want to, so you can make it thick, thin. I just love it. All right, now on the indigo. So I love doing circles. Let me zoom in a little tiny bit here so you can see a little better. I'm just gonna do my favorite design, which is this petal. And I just love that I can barely hold my pen. I don't have to put hardly any effort into it. It dries almost instantly. And like the cover set or the package, it is actually waterproof. And I did discover that one day when I painted over it. Look at that vibrant gold. And it's just so smooth, it feels so good. Even if you do something like this where you're doing lines, maybe filling in some of the portions and really following it with your eye if you can and noticing how it dries, how it absorbs. This can really help you get in the flow state and it is so satisfying. I don't think I've met anyone in the hundreds, if not thousands of folks that I've taught uh, some of these calming circle lessons to that have the gold pen who have said, this isn't relaxing. <laughs> so as you're drawing, if you start to feel like the ink is running low and it's getting scratchy, just press down and that will help you get more ink or paint into the tip of the pen. It's also great if you just wanna write. If you do any kind of hand lettering. I see my camera shaking from me writing. <laughs> I hope that doesn't make y'all dizzy, I'm sorry. <laughs> And there we go, how about that? I love it. And then this darker one, let's do this quick because you can see, ooh, look how intense and lovely it is when you really pay attention to getting that dark, rich indigo, especially with Daniel Smith. Little peace sign for the Peaceful Painting Club. And this is the stuff we do in the club, live and community, also on demand, depending on what you prefer. Who knows, you might discover the next gold pen <laughs> that everyone has to have. Like, I can't stop. I'm almost like, I can't stop drawing because I love it so much. 
So if you have the gold pen, let me know in the comments. If you order it and try it out, let me know what you think of it. Hopefully these tips helped. I do again recommend doing it on smoother paper. So if you have mixed media paper, that's great. Of course you can use, absolutely use watercolor paper. That is 100% okay. It just may not be as smooth and soothing as we want it to be. You can grab the gold pen on my Amazon shop. It's amazon.com backslash shop backslash Katie Goodling. And I'll also share it in the description for you. So our channel is relatively new. I would so, so, so appreciate any likes, follows, subscribes only because I want to be able to go live, but I can't go live until I have a certain number of watch hours and subscribers. So as soon as I hit that, I'm going to do some live painting videos. Folks have asked just to watch me paint. So we're going to do that. Thank you, everyone. I hope you have a lovely day. Let me know if you have any questions about the gold pen in the comments.